everyone, it's Audrey from Country Stampers, and I'm here to um, for our cozy Christmas online card class and tag. And um, I want to thank each and every one of you that is joining me for my first class. And again, just a little reminder, it's my first one, so I'm a little nervous. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy, and um, I hope I do okay. So today we're going to make two cards for each. Um, but I'm only going to demonstrate one of each for you, and then you guys can go and finish creating on your own. So this one here is going to be our first card, and I just absolutely love it. It's nice, it's simple, and it's quick, so we can make lots of these. Um, here is your second card, and this one is going to flip this way. And I just absolutely fell in love with this one in the Santa sleigh with the reindeers. So, and then here is one of the simple tags that you're going to make. Um, I didn't do any stamping on the back. Um, that is up to you if you want to. With your set, you have received a to and from in your, kit, in your stamp set. So you can go ahead and stamp that. Or you can write a little message on the back to your recipient. And then for the final tag... I decided to give us something to play with here, um, a couple of different little um, techniques. And this one is like a little card gift tag. So again, I didn't stamp inside of it. Um, you guys can go ahead and do that or you guys can, um, you know, just write a message to your um, recipient. So are you guys ready? Okay, let's get started with card one. Now card one is nice and simple. You're going to, in your kit, you will notice you have four pieces of the base, which is four inches by eight inches. And you should have four of the real red, um, measuring three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then you have a piece of the D DSP, the designer series paper. And this is cut at three and one eighths by three and one eighths. You should have one strip at one and three quarters by three inches, or I think that's supposed to be three quarters um, by three inches. And then you have another one that's at a half inch by three inches. And you have these two circles. And these two circles are about the same, they are the same size, and they are Oh, about two quarter inches. Now these I didn't use a punch for. I did use the circle dies to cut this. Um, so um, you can get like a one and three, uh, a two inch or a two and a half inch punch and do these if you wanted to. Or you could get the um, the framelits and cut them out using the circles from there. So what you're going to do, you can either score your card at four inches or you can just, you know, roll it over, match up your corners and use your bone folder and fold it in half this way. It's whatever you guys are comfortable with. Um, I didn't do any of the scoring. Um, I figured you guys could do that. So then you're going to take your real red and your snail adhesive and you are going to attach it to your base. Now if you notice there's a wider border around, there's like a quarter of an inch all the way around on this card. And then you're going to take your DSP again, your snail adhesive and add this on top of the real red. All right, and this one has about an eighth of an inch border around. You're going to grab your mossy meadow and a stamp, um, probably a little bit bigger than that one. I haven't gotten my blocks in yet, so I'm really sorry about that. I can't wait until they come in. Um, we are going to grab... May the magic of the season fill your heart and home. And I'm just going to line this up here. I'm going to take my circle. 
Now, if you're going to notice on here when the circle cut off a couple of the stars, it just seems to add a little bit to it, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so we're going to ink up real good. Now your ink um, pad is brand new, so it's going to be nice and wet. Try to line it up as good as you think it should be and just stamp down. And there you go. Now I would go ahead and clean my stamp um, when I'm finished. I'm just going to give it a quick minute to dry. So while you're sitting here waiting for that to dry a little bit, close up your ink. You can just take a pair of scissors. You're going to grab your two strips here. And I just cut up maybe, I don't know, a quarter of an inch up the center to make my little banner flags here. And then corner to the tip where I finished cutting. And again on the other side. And then I kind of lay it down and see how I want my flags to come off. And you're going to do this to both strips. Okay. And I don't think I cut all the way on that one. And there you go. So you can layer these how you want if you'd like to change it up for a different look and play with it. Oops, I'm a little off my card. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the side. Because if you notice, you're going to leave a little bit of a border around it like a, like a shadow. Okay, just like that. And you're going to take your dimensionals. Now, I only put three, I think, on here. I might have put in two. Um, you could put four if you'd like. Oops, hold on. I'm jumping a little ahead of myself. So that's going to work right there with my banners. Um, so I can go ahead and adhere my banners down. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting over a slight cold, so... And I just line these up. Make sure not to go off my card. Base. There we go. Line this one up. Now you can go ahead. Oops, I think this little one here needs to be cut. You might have to cut maybe three quarters of an inch off. To give it that little effect. There we go. Oops, I didn't get that even. And I'm out of the picture. Sorry about that. Alright, so right about there. Try to get it as straight as you can. And then finish taking your adhesive off of your pop dots there. And just line that up. And voila, you have your card. Now you can go ahead and you can cut um, another piece for inside or write your message here um, however you'd like. If you were going to put a mat inside, I would use um, Very Vanilla and I would cut it probably three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So you have a one eighth inch border around. So I hope you enjoyed that card. Now, on to card number two, and this one here, let me clean up my mess, um, you will have uh, four bases, I think these ones are cut bigger, yep, these ones are cut at four and a quarter by eight and a half, you should have four of them in your kit. You should have four of the Mossy Meadow uh, mats cut at four inches by four inches. Very Vanilla, you should have four of them cut at three and a half by three and a half. And a DSP cut at two and a half by three and a half. 
And then you have these two squares. One is for stamping, and the other one is it's matte. And the real red is cut at one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And the very vanilla is cut at one and a half by one and a half. You'll also notice you have a some ribbon. I've given you enough for all of your cards. So here we go. Again, I did not score the bases, so um, you can use your score, score pal, um, or your score tool, or just line it up and use your bone folder and crease it down. Give it a nice hard crease there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your mossy meadow, add some adhesive to it. And you're going to put this in the card, leaving a border, trying to get as even as a border as you can around. Now you're going to take your Santa sleigh stamp, add that to your ink pad, move your card base. Um, and again, we're going to use Mossy Meadow ink. You're going to bring over your very vanilla here. You're going to ink up your Santa sleigh. And you're just going to eyeball it and stamp up towards the top. I think I left maybe five eighths of an inch from the top. Close up my ink. Let that dry. I'm going to take the DSP strip here, put some adhesive on it, and I'm just going to line this up with the bottom. Oh, I messed up on my stamping, so let me flip this over. That is the great thing. It's two-sided, so if we mess up, we can flip it over. So, let me re-stamp. And maybe move it up a little higher. I'm sorry if my head's in the way. There we go. Um, all right. Now, whoops. Now add this, lining it up with the bottom corner. And I'm thinking... Ah... Hold on. This piece is a little bit bigger. So when you get your kit, because your kits have already been mailed, um, go ahead and check and make sure that your pieces are cut correctly. You might have to um, trim them down by a quarter inch. Okay. Um, so they'll fit a little bit better. So here we go. Line that up. So your piece should have been cut at two and a quarter, not two and a half. Sorry about that. So please double check your kit when you receive it. Um, unless you received it while you're watching this video, double check on this card too, okay? Sorry about that. I am so sorry. <clears throat> so now before I add this to my card base, I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to use the cheater method with some scotch tape and I'm going to, oops, oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so sorry guys, trim this down and I'm just going to cover up my seam between the DSP and the very vanilla. Flip it over to the other side. Tape it down. And there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my snail adhesive. And because I did add the ribbon and it's a little bit bulky in those two spots, I'm going to add adhesive a little more to help hold it down to my card base. 
So now I'm going to leave about almost a quarter of an inch border around the sides. Here, this down. I'm going to take my other piece of ribbon here. I'm just going to tie a simple little knot real quick. Now my knots don't seem to come out too good lately, especially when I'm videoing. So there we go. I'm just going to trim off my edges right like this. Now I'm going to take this other small piece of very vanilla and my little saying, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And the mossy meadow again. Sorry, it seems that um, I use a lot of mossy meadow on this card. Um, make sure I have my stamp the correct way. I'm going to ink it up. Now this one you got to kind of really pay attention. Um, I should have cut this a little bit bigger. I'm sorry. And then just stamp it. Hoping no. All right, let me try that again. Come down a little bit. Sorry if my head is in the way. All right. So here we go. As good as I could get it. And then I am going to use adhesive and put it onto its mat, the real red. And that again has a maybe a little more than a one eighth border around it. Take a couple of pop dots. And now add that to your card. Right in the center of this little piece down here. And there you go. And there's card number two. Again, if you want, cut yourself a mat for inside. Or you can leave it blank to write your saying on there because these these seem to be pretty mellow colors to do some writing on them. All right. So now on to the tags. So this tag is nice and simple. And you should have, let's see, four pieces of real red cut at... Um, three inches by two inches. And we're going to be using the bell stamp for this, this tag. So if you want, go ahead and get your bell stamp out and put onto your um, block. Then you should have a piece of string. And this is the thick berry vanilla baker's twine. We'll set that aside. Um, I have a piece of DSP that measures three and a quarter, three and three quarters by three quarters. Um, so we can make this ribbon. And then you have two label punches. Um, these are from another one of the framelit sets. Um, I'll put the information on the framelit set again. I think it's uh, tags and labels or labels and tags um, framelits. So um, I cut them out for you. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your little banner piece. Again, you're going to cut up, I would say about a quarter inch or maybe five eighths and make your little banner. I love making these. And I, I don't mind that, you know, I'm freehanding them and the sides might be a little wonky. It just seems to add that extra character to it. So now you're going to lay that down here. Now on my first one here, it does come off a little more. Um, I decided that that was a little bit um, too much of an overhang. So like when you're giving it as a gift, it could end up getting bent. So I made it so it had a very low, smaller um, hang. So now you're going to add some adhesive and center this onto your base as even as you can get it. 
All right. So then you're going to take and add the mossy metal label to it. And you're going to leave a nice little border across the top and make sure that it's centered. All right. So now you get your ink out again. This stamping is a little bit easier. So the next time I think I'm going to just go ahead on, um, on my next card class that I have coming up. I'm going to leave the berry vanilla a little bit larger for you for stamping um, so it's easier. And then you guys can go ahead and trim it down. Um, so, all right, so we're going to take the bell and we're going to ink it up and we're going to get it as centered as we can and stamp it and perfect. We're going to take some dimensionals here, one on each side and add this. Now I used a quarter, uh, a one eighth punch to punch my hole over here in the corner for my strip, um, I mean my string. You can um, do it if you'd like or you know if you know any other ways of tying on um, the ribbon. It's up to you. Now it is a little bit thicker so the 1 8 hole punch makes it a little bit tight sometimes but it works. And then I just loop it through and make like a little slip knot right here for you. So there you go. There's tag number one. I really hope you guys are enjoying this class. I'm nervous. So, uh, all right. So on to tag two. In tag two, you should have four pieces of a base that is two and a half, uh, three inches by five inches. Now you'll notice that there's strip is in here. This strip here, um, I embossed it for you using um, the Stylish Stripes um, embossing folder from Stampin' Up. And this piece measures one and a half by two and a half. So I did the embossing for you. You can use either side um, it depends on what look you like. So I'm not going to tell you what's right or wrong. So, and I just happened to notice I didn't cut myself any um, silver string for this. So, do do. Alrighty, here we go. So, um, what you're going to do again, you are going, oh, I'm sorry, I was doing your supply list. Um, so, you should have four bases. Four of these one and a half by two and a half inch strips. You should have four scallop circles and you should have this designer paper. I try to cut out each one of the Santas and you'll notice that there's two different Santas um, that you got. So you can change them up a little bit. Now before you go ahead and you fold your card base, you get to have some fun. Lay down a piece of scrap paper down in your background and take your bell stamp, ink it up, and now you're just randomly going to start stamping on your card base. Anywhere you want. There's no right or wrong on this. You have fun with it. You can do it as close as as far apart as you want. It's up to you. It's all about what look you want. So I'm just randomly text, uh, texting. I am sorry. Randomly punching, uh, stamping. And there we go. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to just let it dry a little bit. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it just like I have on the regular card bases in half to make my card. And grab the bone folder and push it down. So there's that part. Now this is a very simple little gift tag and I thought it would be different for us. So now you're going to take your one and a half inch strip 
and your silver cording that's included. I gave you enough for all four of your tags. And again, we're going to use the cheater method. Some scotch tape. And you're just going to tie it on, well, tape it onto the back. So, like so. And now you're going to wrap it loose, but yet a little bit snug. And you're going to try to make a crisscross pattern. And then you're going to come to the back. You wrap it around three times. Um, you don't have to use it if you don't want that look on there, so don't think that you have to. Now I'm going to take some more snail adhesive. And again, because it is embossed for one, and I did add another layer behind here, I'm going to add just a little more snail. Now I'm going to center this as good as I can right here on the card. And there we go. Now you're going to take your circle and your scallop. You're going to add some dimensionals to your circle. I think I only added two. And if you notice you're getting low on your, your dimensionals, and you have that little rim around there you can cut into those and use those so and then we're going to turn around and we're going to take some more dimensionals and add those to the back i think i added four onto this onto the scallop just because i got to try to put it on top of the cording there so here we go right here Making sure Santa is in the correct position and just add him right to the front there. Again, take your one and one eighth punch or whatever size punch you have and go ahead and punch a corner up, uh, up punch a hole in the corner up here like that. And now you can add your cording, your silver string here. To tie onto your gift. So, let's see. Oops. There we go. It doesn't want to go through the hole for me. Oh, here we go. So, here we go. And again, just loop it through with this little slip knot. And voila, there you go. So, now you've completed all four of your projects. So you should have um, five tags each. Double check your kits for me. Let me know. Um, I think I was in such a hurry that some of the kits only ended up with um, four tags each. If so, please send me a um, email. I will put my email address at the bottom here for you so you guys can go ahead and email me. Um, I'm real sorry if I did that. But you should have enough for five tags of this style. Five tags of this style. And I just noticed another little boo-boo. We are supposed to use the real red and your bells here instead of the mossy oak. I mean the mossy meadow. So, but this shows you that you can use both colors. You can change these cards up to however you guys would like to use them. You could use Mossy Meadow on a couple of them. Um, you could also, you know, use the real red instead. So, it is, you know, your choice. This is, I'm only giving you the guidelines um, to create the cards any other way that you feel that you like them or just want to play with them. So um, I'm real sorry for some imperfections on this video. Um, I'm hoping to get better with them um, as time goes on. So if you guys have any questions um, and, or would like to be notified of any other upcoming card classes or other classes that are coming available, please feel free to send me an email um, leave a comment below. Now these this video is private to you as my class participants. Um, this will not be a live video. Um, 
at the current time this will this video will eventually go live in a, maybe in a couple of months um, after I know all my participants have um, completed their projects and you know um, we've moved on to another couple of classes I do have another class coming up um, I'm working on right now um, if you stop by my blog um, you can find the link to sign up and reserve your spot for that class. It is going to be the Festival of Trees um, card class. So what you will do is you will get the stamp set, a punch, and um, two inks um, for that class. It is another card class, but there's a twist. At the end of the card class, again, you'll make four cards each. Um, at the end of the class, here is the sneak preview. And it is a baker's box tree that I will show you how to create for your gift giving. So, again, if you're interested in the next class, hop on over to my blog and reserve your spot. Uh, I have limited the class to um 15 participants um if you know um if it fills up quicker than what i think it will um i might open it up a little long for a few more people so um remember just jump on over there if you would like to order any other supplies um so you guys can make more of these cards and these tags please feel free to jump over to my website um, country stampers, uh, country stamper, stampin up, um, dot stampin up dot net. And, or you can contact me and I can assist you, um, with your ordering. Or if you'd like to book a workshop, an online workshop or an online party. So go ahead. I hope you guys really enjoyed. And if you like my Facebook page, um, under country stampers, um, and I reach 100 likes uh, by the end of the month, I am going to do a giveaway. I will announce in a few days what the item is um, for the giveaway. So stop on over if you're on Facebook. I'm on Instagram under Country Stampers. I am also um, on Pinterest under Country Stampers. So jump on over there and become a follower. And watch for upcoming classes as well as giveaways and um, so much more, especially right now. We have a 15% off your um, our stamp sets. So make sure you stop over there. The sale ends this Friday. So get your wish lists out and, you know, take advantage of this great sale. So I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you join me again. Thank you. Any more information? will be posted down below um, for you. So thank you again, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Happy crafting.